Okay, there's some little trick, something like hearted for a change. Um, my uncle Adam showed me this, oh, when I was a teenager in my 20s perhaps. I'm sure lots of people have seen it, but I have shown it many a time. Normally I've had a few drinks, which I, I didn't start drinking until my mid 50s, so it's rare, perhaps once, twice a year. And sometimes, I remember once, for instance, doing this trick in a very posh restaurant when I was a company accountant for a construction company. And uh, on a rare occasion, I joined the directors and contracts manager and other directors at a nice dinner in Marlborough, Marlborough as they call it. And um, I was doing the dinner table. Anyway, it's quite funny. I, I like it. Spoon, a fork. And you just connect them up. Which is not easy, like that. And then prefer, it's best to have a, a matchstick but I'm using a cocktail stick, but I don't have matchstick because nobody smokes in the house. I'm just putting that there. I'm going to put it on the edge there and see whether it balances. It seems incredibly impossible. But it does seem that way. It might do. It might not. It's a bit difficult because my hand's unsteady. Oop! It nearly did. When it does balance, it can balance for a long time. It's just getting that balance. A wobbly end. Can you see that? It's not not is that not remarkable? I think it is. There's no glue used, there's no trick, there's no strings. It's actually hanging off the glass. There's nothing sticking the the cocktail stick to the glass. There's all the weight of the fork and the spoon on that piece of wood which is just hanging off the edge of that glass. I think it's good. I can do a little wobble. Give it a little wobble. Look at that. Send it around a bit. That's good. Bye.